Hey, what's up guys, TrooPFX here again and today I'm gonna show you how to create a nice softbox lighting for your uh, Cinema 4D scene to get a better reflection on your text or object, whatever you want. So um, first of all, go into Cinema 4D and let's set up the render settings. As always, I'm gonna choose an output film 720 HD of course and on tealizing I'll change this to bust um, and now I usually set up a basic scene we don't really need to do that so I will just leave it the way it is right now um, first of all I need a few objects to preview what my uh, what my lighting is looking like you know so I can see if it's looking good or bad and how it's affecting uh, different objects. So I'm gonna make a sphere, I'm gonna make a text and choose another font. I'll choose Pepsi and call this test. Well, no, I'm gonna call this light. And I resize it a little bit and increase the depths. And a few caps as well. Two, five, two, five. Okay, and what else? Um, no, I don't need anything else, that's pretty much it. And now I need to create a softbox. Well, softbox, um, I just need a plane and I'll resize it by uh, width to 700 and weight uh, height to 700. That's pretty much enough and then I will rotate it on the P axis to 90 degrees. And now I need a light, so let's go to lights and choose area light. And move it a little bit f um, in front of our plane. I know the light needs to be a lot bigger, so go to details and increase the auto radius to 300. Um, or, well, that's not even enough. I'm gonna increase it to 400. That's too much. 350 then. Oh yeah, perfect. So what else? Uh, yeah, go to the light options and choose general and give it some shadows. Shadow map soft, and turn on the intensity to 70. Um, and also create a new material and only enable the luminance tab and disable all the other tabs and put it on the plane and then right click the plane cinema 4d tags compositing and in the compositing tag we're going to turn off the cast shadows receive shadows and scene by camera and then we create a null object and call this softbox and afterwards we will move the light and the plane to the softbox null object and uh, also gives the softbox a cinema 4d compositing tag and disable the same things as before cast shadows receive shadows seen by camera okay um, that's pretty much it for the softbox and then we gonna choose it and choose a rotation tool rotate a little bit and move it up and copy uh, or duplicate it rotate it on the opposite side so just put a minus in front of it or a plus and put it on the other side. If I render we will only see the text but not the light. And as you can see it's looking really cool. I like I really adore softbox lighting. It's one of my favorite lighting for text and intros. Um, and we'll also have nice reflections on the text or sphere if you use reflection. So let me just give this a color and a reflection of Fresnel and give it a material and let's see and you see awesome source reflections, like you've always wanted them. Actually perfect, and even though these things will be in your camera view, don't worry, since we turned off the scene by camera, you won't see anything. It will just render the text and the sphere. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you, um, since a lot of people requested how to create really glossy edges and stuff. Well, it's all about lighting, and don't forget, the most important thing about this is a plane with the luminance tab, because this is what, well, basically what's creating these glossy edges here. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Oh, by the way, leave requests for more tutorials. Okay, peace!